vlog my name is Lexi if you're new here I'd love it if you subscribe stay a while it's a fun time you know we're gonna see what we're gonna get up to today I'm not sure I've got my exercise dress on we're gonna take Lola for a walk and then I think we're gonna rollerblade downtown to the library because I have to print something for residency and we don't have a printer here and I think it's like 10 cents I already sent the document to the library so I think we're gonna rollerblade down there and back for our workout for this morning. I'll print the paper and then we'll come back and see what we get up to. I might color my hair at home a little bit. I don't know, we'll see. We have a waxing kit, so we might try that at some point. I don't know, we're gonna see what we get up to today, but it's gonna be an interesting vlog, I can guarantee you that. It's gonna start raining here in a couple hours, so we need to get moving. I will vlog on my phone while we rollerblade, and we'll see what we get up to. Like I said, today is Saturday. I start residency on Wednesday. I have to drive to Gainesville on Tuesday, so it's the last couple days at home. Just sort of like getting my life together and doing a bunch of random stuff that we have to get done. So, come along for the ride and we'll see what happens. So we just took Lola for a walk and it's extremely hot out, so the black exercise dress was not the move, so I just changed into this just like light tank top with a sports bra and then these Lululemon shorts, a little more light and airy. What is in the pocket here? A rolled up tissue, okay. Anyways, I talked about this in my my last video, one of the more recent videos. But the combination of these for everyday sunscreen has been my go-to. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my face because it is hot and sunny out. And it's gonna be very, very hot and sunny on rollerblades. So I'm learning to wear SPF every day, even if I'm not laying out which is something I'm not used to being from the north. But down here, oh great, put it right in my eyebrow. But down here, I definitely need to do so. So I just put like a few dots of each one all over my face. I look a little crazy, but together, they are magic. And they rub in really well and they don't feel like I'm wearing anything. Honestly, I probably put too much, but. Fabulous. Cool, all right, let's go. So I wanted to show you guys it with my little Princess Polly bracelet making kit. I made this cute phone charm. I thought it was so fun and summery, a little pink, blue, and white. It says Lexi, okay. It's not working, but let's go. Sean's got his rollerblades on already. He's carrying mine. We're gonna bring a little, I'll show you guys. We have this book bag to carry our shoes so that when we get to the library, we can switch them out. So I've got this little purple book bag that I'll wear with our flip flops. Oops. Also using my new keychain from Princess Polly. Oh, and we got this huge mirror. I haven't even shown you guys. We went to Home Goods and got this like gold standing mirror because we didn't have a full body mirror. And I think it opens up this space. I love it. It was like a hundred bucks. But let's go rollerblading. <laughs>
How's the sandwich? It's good. It's kind of like, I wish the chicken was like a little crispier. Yeah. But that's what happens when it's like pre-made. Um. So we're back home now from rollerblading. I got my library sheet printed all as well. We're gonna try and add some lightness to my hair. So I don't wanna add necessarily like blonde, but it's like pretty much all my natural hair color right now, which is this like light brown color. And I just wanted to add just like a little bit of dimension, like balayage style kind of throughout. I don't know, this is either gonna be a disaster or it could turn out really well. I don't know, but the girl that does my hair, one of my good, good friends, Christy, love her to death, but she's back in Buffalo. It's actually her wedding day today and I'm so freaking sad that we couldn't go, but we could not figure out a way to make it work. Like there was just no way to get the travel plans with residency and Sean's job and everything. And I'm so sad they just FaceTimed me. I'm so sad I'm not there. <laughs> what better wedding present to get her than to possibly ruin my hair, no. I got the Garnier um, Olea Brilliant Color Healthy Hair one. That way, I'd rather, like, s the light just went out above me. I'd rather see, like, not too much of a change than to, like, bleach and ruin my hair. So, we're gonna do this one and just see how it goes. It's the medium blonde. Um, it shows, like, darker hair than mine it's probably pretty close and it just like puts some of that in there so we're gonna see I when I was younger used to do like the honey dipped balayage type thing to my hair all the time because I was afraid to go to the hair salon <laughs> um, but I don't know we're gonna see I'm not gonna do a ton I just figured like maybe some lightness in the front I like don't remember how I used to do this. I know I only used to do like the bottom and I used to like pin it up and just do like pieces at a time. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I literally used to do this all the time, but enough chatting, let's see how this goes. I have wrapped this towel around me. I am nervous. I feel like I literally used to do this all the time, but I am scared, so I'm trying to like read the directions and I'm gonna wear gloves. I took off my rings. I'm nervous. I'm gonna move the rug. That way if anything gets on anything, I can clean it up. I am scared. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but here we go. Um, like I said, I'd rather have no results than like crazy results, so I'm gonna try and be conservative. If I can, so it says to snap off. I don't have anything to snap off. Just putting this, like a scientist, mixing it all into one bottle, making sure I get it all out. Hmm, I'm already making a mess. Okay gonna have to be good enough and it says put this on shake for at least 30 seconds okay that's what we're gonna do I was gonna like section it off and do it in pieces but I think I'm just gonna kind of want to use only one glove so I can section my hair out I also don't have a brush I don't have a comb I literally have nothing so and then normally I feel like I do this with a bowl, a brush, or at least back in the day when I did it, but I guess we're just gonna like hope for the best. So I'm just squirting a little bit out. Why did I just do that? Now I can't even grab any hair. Okay, we're just gonna do little, little pieces, okay? Start from the bottom and then like tease it up. The process is kind of coming back to me a little bit. Again, start from the bottom. Back in the day, I used like Jesse James Decker's video. I'll put it in a card right here with like the frost and glow, but I'm not trying to go that crazy blonde, like the honey dipped or whatever she used to do. I don't know. We're going for subtle here. Um, The 
good news is, even if it looks ugly, I just watched a video and this hair color is at least, like, not damaging to your hair. It was like one of the recommended box colors, so at least if it looks ugly or nothing happens, I'm not destroying, like, the integrity of my hair, right? It's a plus. We like, we like that. I wish I could give you some sort of tutorial, but one, I don't even know if this is going to look good or work, and two, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm basically going to do this throughout my hair. I should have checked. Okay, starting time is 1.13. It says total 30 minutes, so I am going to pause the vlog and I will come back when everything is in. I've got a bunch of it just like sort of spread throughout. I have no clue. It's not really looking like it's doing anything. But we shall see. I tried to do the back. I definitely didn't get as much in the back. Maybe I could do a little bit more as I'm just sitting here, but I'm trying to like not do it in like chunks and make it look really bad. <laughs> and I also took my gloves off, but that's all right. I'll just wash my hands right after. I feel like there's so much in this bottle, but I mean, the whole box was like $4 at Publix, so can't be too mad. All right, hair's still drying, it's super wet, but I washed and conditioned it. I do think it lightened up the pieces a little bit. It's very subtle, but good news is, is there's no disaster. But I think it did lighten up a little bit in those spots. So somewhat of a success, but my hair doesn't feel like gross or anything. It actually feels really silky and smooth. So that is good, but I just got a package from Bala, I, you guys saw a couple vlogs back that they sent me the gray sneakers for residency and now I have the white ones. So I think they're so cute and they're supposed to be like made for healthcare workers. So they're easy to clean, they're comfortable for being on your feet all day. So thank you so much Bala, I'm so excited to wear these. It's insane to me that residency starts literally in a couple days that I'll be driving to Gainesville. I'm a little bit overwhelmed but that's okay all good things so I think while my hair dries a little bit I have to edit the video portion of the podcast that goes up on Monday because it's Saturday right now as I'm filming this so I need to edit the YouTube portion of the podcast I went to Miami yesterday with Gabby to record the podcast episodes so I have to go through that edit that I'm um, doing some laundry, not that exciting, and then we're going to dinner with one of Sean's coworkers and his girlfriend and just moved down here and she also doesn't know anyone, just like me. So we're going out to dinner with them, which should be fun, and then we'll probably just come back here and chill, watch Stranger Things. We started it over before we watched the new season, so we're on season three now, and then we'll watch the new season. I need to drink water. I feel very dehydrated. So I'm going to make a large ice water in my Yeti cup and get to editing. Very subtle, but my hair is dry. So I wanted to show you guys, you can see there's some lightness kind of throughout little pieces. Like I said, I did really small pieces and I focused it mainly on the ends and in the front but it didn't do a whole lot, but it did enough that I'm happy with it. And like I said, it didn't, <laughs> didn't ruin my hair, so that's a plus, but just like a little bit of lightness in there for the summer, but not bad, not too shabby, if I say so myself. Laying here editing these podcasts literally for hours, so now it is time to get ready for dinner. Those jeans are stained. Looks like you pooped on the front of them. What the hell? No! We'll wash them. It's okay, these are too small to wear with boots and boots. Um, We're getting ready to go to dinner. It looks like it's gonna rain. I think it's super hot out, but we're gonna be in an inside restaurant, so I'm gonna wear jeans and a shirt, I think. I'm gonna sure. continue this vlog into tomorrow as well. Should what? I make these reverse shorts? No. So reverse just drawers. like leg warmers? Like. Pretty much. No, just, down just the leave them works. as they are, we'll clean them. Okay. But it's time for me to get ready. We have to be at dinner in a half hour. George, baby, George, baby. Just very quickly got ready. I have a little blue clip. This blue tank top is from the brand Acta. I got it from Gabby. My favorite Zara jeans ever. And then these cute little 
blue like mule sandals. So baby blue moment and then this bag is from H&M. I got it when I was in Savannah and it is storming outside. Sean, where's that shirt from? Uh, Probably Abercrombie? H&M. Nope, PacSun. PacSun? Jeans? Uh, these are from Hollister. Boots? Boot barn. Face. From your oh, parents. <laughs> yeah, it is storming outside. So, we are ready to go. We're gonna go get in the car and go to dinner. On my face, I just have a little bit of bronzer, some lip gloss, and mascara. Good morning. It is the next day. It is Sunday today. We have a potential pet sitter coming to meet the pets. This morning, in a little bit, we have to take this one for a walk. Oh, do you want to go on a walk? Do you want to go on a walk? She heard that word and she is now on high alert. <laughs> and then we're going to come back. I'm hoping the rain holds off a little bit. I'd like to go outside and like read by the pool for a little bit. I did not get all of my computer work done yesterday, so I have to do that. I also got some super cute new suits from Dippin' Daisies that I have to shoot some content in for them. So cute. Very excited about that. And then <laughs> do some laundry and like I kind of forgot that tomorrow was like my last full day off here and then I drive to Gainesville on Tuesday. So a little overwhelmed. I have to like figure out like what I'm going to bring with me. I don't know, it's gonna be strange, but I'm gonna take her for a walk, finish up my coffee, and we will get the day going. Maybe brush my hair, that would probably be good. Now I'm going to do my nails because I picked off all my nail polish. You guys know how it is. I feel like this is every single vlog, <laughs> but I wanted to do some fun red, white, and blue 4th of July nails. So we'll see what I'm able to accomplish here. But I'm sitting in the bedroom because Sean's playing video games out there. And I wanted to throw on Netflix and just sort of do my nails. I did want to take some content, like I said, in the new bathing suits for Dippin' Daisies. And it is still sunny outside. Let's see what the weather says. It's been on that, like, Florida summer rains in the afternoon. Yeah, it says it might start raining around 3. And, oh, tomorrow says it'll be nice until like noon so if I don't get the pictures today maybe I'll try and get them tomorrow but I am re-watching how to get away with murder because it is so good and it's just so easy for me to just throw on so that's what I'm gonna do I'll do my nails I have shown them a bunch of times in the vlog so I don't want to bore you guys with that but I'm gonna do my nails I'll show you guys afterwards what they look like and we'll go from there Nails are done Here's the 4th of July masterpiece that I have attempted here. Here. I get in your vlog today? I'm vlogging right now. Come here. There's the nails. This one's got a little crooked lines, but you know, we did what we could. Yes? Say hi to the vlog. Say hi, hi to the vlog. vlog. Oh my gosh, you're naked! I didn't even notice. Oh my god. I haven't vlogged anything because I've just been a ball of anxiety about leaving and starting residency and doing all of that. I've really enjoyed my t What I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my dead battery is that I've just been a ball of stress today. I've had no motivation. I've been feeling like so sad. I've enjoyed so much time here, like relaxing in our apartment and like doing beach days and things like that. And now I'm just like really freaking stressed about starting residency, but also like moving away. I think I would be super excited if I was starting here like this Naples, week. Yeah. Like I would be excited for, to start residency, but it's like going up to Gainesville and so many unknowns, like well, you're gonna, uh, being so be, lonely and like- Don't, you, you won't be lonely. Cause there'll be a bunch of new people. You'll make friends. Like it's- Yeah, how did that go for me in dental school first? We well, made good friends. It just- Eventually, yeah, but that's what I mean. I think, I, I think you, need to take a deep breath and just go into it. It's a new experience, it's a new school, it's not UB. So that's not like dental a, school that's a benefit. Yeah. So I think I think you just need to just relax. 
Yeah. Just take it when you strike. I am excited. If you, if you go into I've it been with a bad mind, to... if you go in with into it with a bad mindset, you're gonna have a bad experience. I know. No, and I've been waiting for like this was my top choice of residency. I've been waiting to be a pediatric like dental resident for so long and be done with dental school and live in Florida and do all these things. I just don't know what to expect and I'm nervous and you're sad. Fine. You're gonna be fine. All right. I know, but I just love hanging out here with you guys. <laughs> well, you, dude, it's you gotta think of it. Just count the weekends. No, I know. And even like this week is a shortened week. Like I leave Tuesday, you'll be at work. Exactly. So I'll just be like getting settled. And then one of the weekends I'm going to be coming down there, up there. I'm yeah. Gonna... It just sucks that like our birthday. You got to figure out what I have to wear to that party. That is like the last week in July, but yes, I will let you and know. It's like halfway through, dude. We only have four weekends. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, I'll chat with you guys in a bit. I think we're going to go to the grocery store. I just wanted to be real about why I wasn't vlogging and why this might be a shorter vlog. I have no clue how much footage I have, but so far, it's been a very chill day. I'm happy with how these turned out, so there's a positive, but we're going to go to the grocery store. We have to get like litter and I don't know what else, just a couple things to get out of the house. It looks like it might rain tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm just going to soak up all the time I can here at home. We'll do the pool, but I don't think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I really wanna just like prep, and then I'll pick up the camera on Tuesday for my vlog. I'll vlog my drive down there, show you guys like unpacking all my stuff for the week, what I packed, all that good stuff. I will do that in the next vlog. It's like- Sean might let me wax his butt tonight because we have a waxing kit, and he's got a hairy butt, and it bothers him, so we might wax it. The amount of the amount of wet wipes I go through is unreal. Yeah, it's it's like wearing a sweater all the time. So <laughs> stay tuned it's like, for that. It's like pooping through a wool sweater. <laughs> Pimple patches. I realized I forgot to end the vlog. Um, we just went grocery shopping for a couple things. Came home watched Hustle on Netflix, highly recommend. It was a super good movie, the new Adam Sandler movie about basketball. And then we went to bed. So today I'm gonna try and relax the first half of the day and then prep for my drive to Gainesville tomorrow for residency. So of course I will pick up the camera tomorrow, but I'm gonna try and soak up my last day at home before everything starts. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.